Weapons out. I'm going with the Polaron this time. And going to one of these stations, you will be able to pull out a fire suppression device. Luckily for me, I brought my own. Let's see. And uh, before, this was only useful in this mission or as a smoke for scene for when you wanted a rave in a bar. But uh, now it has been tweaked by Cryptic so that it will put out plasma fires from plasma grenades as well as remove fires from any characters who have been affected by it. So let's get to firefighting. <laughs> Science fiction universe? Firefighting? I think it's time for a little situation appropriate music. All right, be gone, fire. Oh look, lizards. Oh, hi. No past we deliver to the future land. For the growing world of tomorrow we strive. Passing through yeah, I know it was the Gorn. That dumbass really just run over there and set himself on fire. Yes, he did! Oh, they bagged somebody over here. anything that we came from the target.
Captain, the researchers we rescued from Kasei 2 say there is another team at the dig site at Kasei 4. I attempted to contact the dig site team to verify that they are safe, but I'm not receiving a response. Recommend that we check it out, sir. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Hello? Course laid in for Kasei 4, sir. We can leave on your command. Alright. Sir, attempting to establish a communication link to... Captain, Corn ships detected. They're powering up their weapons. Uh oh Corn, that's almost worse than Gorn. Dig sites for me are a religion. And lizard men from another planet are the shit. Come on. Okay, fine. You're nagging me to scan you, so I'll scan you. Fuck off of ass. There we go. I'm sorry if you saw that little vast pop up in the corner of the screen. Scanning for additional hostiles. It appears the ship is safe for now, Captain. I've located the dig site on the surface, sir, but there is a high-intensity energy field surrounding it that our sensors cannot penetrate. I can beam it away, team, to a location outside of the field, sir, ready to transport on your command. And Pran's still... doing a good... Uh, Pran's doing some good work. Let's go, Joel. I'm not going to get used to it. I'm not. I'm anxious to see how Fraps is going, how the game is going to ha handle Fraps recording this area because it is large and there are there is a large volume of NPCs here. So I expect this next area to chug just a little bit. But uh, this is Gr Gorn Paradise essentially. If you want to grind Gorn, Researcher Rescue is the place to do it because my God, there are a lot of them on this map. There are a shitload of them on this map. Yeah, it's going, it's chugging a little bit, but not much yet. Spinny things on rooftops. I'm not sure what the spinny thing does. I'm sure the civilization that built it thought it was important, though. Oh yeah, chugging. Captain, there are three shield generators maintaining a field around the central building. If there are any members of the archaeological team in this area, that's probably where they're being held. If we disable the shield generators, we should get a lock on the archaeologists. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, bring in my Tribble, though I shall likely not need it. And uh, once again, going with Polaron. And uh, weapons out. So we got shotgun, 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 split beam rifle... You got a handgun? Oh, that's right. I gave you a handgun. Well, let's see, let's see how the handgun. Well, right now it's probably going to do awesome because it's Mark because it's Mark 11. Neither here nor there. Oh yeah, this is going to this is going to chug a little bit because of frap, but it seems okay so far. Shut it down. So, um, 
Normally playing this mission, there are Gorn everywhere, and I would go and kill every single group of them because I'm trying to get the Gorn ground accolade. But right now, I'm just going to stick to the shield generators and the central dome. I'm going to get this uh, I'm going to get this done because this mission, if I started killing Gorn, I would have to time lapse it. And I don't know if I have the uh, and besides that, I don't have the hard drive space to record me going all over this fucking map, killing every group of Gorn there is. I just don't. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fight whoever's in my way, though. Like you are. You're in my way, sir. Die. They also improved the targeting of the exocomps, I believe. Okay, everybody, sorry about that. Let's see, uh, where am I? Follow the big, bright red line. This way! Chaos. It is chaos, I tell you. Alright, die. You need to die. Chug in. Okay. That's two down, one to go. So yeah, if you're not if you're not going for like the kill accolade, this mission's really short. But really, uh, normally I would stick around and kill all these Gorn. I may do that after I do after I do this. Rawick, this guy throws boulders at you. I remember that. I'm gonna kick him. I will kick you. Ugh. I will punch you. Here's another one. A handler, whatever. He's running away. If he doesn't want to screw with me, I'm not going to screw with him. And who can blame him, really? I am just walking around foiling your plans. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I'm buffing myself. Alright, energy shield is down. That means it is time for the boss fight. Or the first half of the boss fight, really. But first, I have to get through these guys. And here's another Rawick. Or Rawick. Or Rawick, or however you pronounce it. I'm gonna kick you, too. Ugh. Kick. 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 Dead. A small hypo. Yeah, that was worth it. Now, when I was playing this earlier, I have been selecting music to play in VLC, and while I have been doing that, my bridge officers killed this guy. There was like an epic battle off screen where my bridge officers were kicking his ass. It was awesome and hilarious, and he ate them, my god. There's only one of the researchers left, and he is ass up. This is not good. Captain, we've detected several Gorn starships approaching from the far side of the planet. We are locked onto your signal and can beam you directly to the bridge. Just a moment now. He's dead, Captain. There are Gorn... These are Gorn... These... These... He's dead, Captain. These are Gorn claw marks, sir. The other hostages are in great danger. Jesus.
Damn, people! Oh, there's one. Chull. Alright. Beam up to the ship. Please let me play. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand, Vice Admiral. This system was the home to our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death. Prepare for trouble, make it double. And I mock you with my fireworks. Beam the hostages aboard. F F F F F F F F F F F F F F crap. Sir, we've locked onto the hostages. Ready ready to beam them directly to Sickbay at your command. The researchers have asked that we leave them here, sir. They say they want to do what they can to recover their research and assess the damage done to the ruins. Starfleet will be sending a team to assist them. We can leave the system whenever you're ready, sir. Warp to sector space. You have completed all objectives in this area. Do you want to leave the system? Yes. Oh, I forgot to scan that. Oh, well. I'm sure the Gorn would claim that technological rating, too. This low-rank anomaly is ours by ties of blood and conquest. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh, is it working? No, it's not. There we go. Hail Starfleet to report. If the archaeological sites in the Kasei system really are from a proto-Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus the Gorn claim to their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider, Vice Admiral. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Choose one of the following. To sell, because it is useless. F off, you undine. Not going to, I'm not going to give up on that. Quinn is an undine. Queen is an undine. Don't tell me I'm the only one who sees it. I'm not mad. You're mad. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Medium power cell. Yeah. Hold down the central key. Do it. Do it. Do it right. What the hell are you? Targmill. Ugh. Get rid of that. 
I've heard that shit spoils quick. All right. So that is researchers, re uh, researcher rescue, not researchers. Although it was, it certainly, maybe it should be plural because there's more than one. But that was researcher rescue, and uh, that's kind of the last of the grunt missions. I don't want to say because there, because there are, cause there are um, a couple of missions later on in the Klingon arc. There are that are a bit grunt missiony, uh, such as uh, treasure trading station. Uh, Task Force Hippocrates is kind of a like a bunch of grunt missions, sort of strained, sort of strung one next to next to the other to next to the other, and put in one overarching mission. Uh, but we're gonna start getting into the plot. Nell is standing on her chair. So is Grim, and so is Eight of Eight. Nell has sat down. Grim and Eight of Eight are not. I can move disembodied through my ship. Okay. Well, and <sighs> Hi Pran. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Uh, it's almost reassuring that he's still being a jackass. We want our jackass back. All right. Access mission logs. So the next mission we're going to be doing is the Kuva Mach. And uh, in that mission, we're going to be meeting a character who was introduced on Star Trek Voyager, and this will in fact continue a story arc that was begun in Star Trek Voyager, which was sort of left hanging at the end of the series. But uh, that's then, and this is now. And this has been Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt, Research and Rescue. I'll see you guys later, so later.